So I decided to throw all this, the adjustments on my saw out of adjustment. I'm going to kind of show you how I'm going to put the saw back into alignment and be adjusted. So I use a small block of wood up against the dado slot uh, using another chunk of wood as a uh, barrier. And you can see there's a lot of slop down there and not very much here, uh, if any at all. So I just remove the fence. And grab an Allen wrench. And it seemed like it needed to be uh, unscrewed just a little bit to get the fence to be tighter on that far end. So I just unscrewed it a little bit and I'm gonna test it. And you don't wanna make sure you don't push too hard into the block. You wanna make sure it's nice and uh, easy to move in and out, but doesn't have any slop. It seems like it needs a little bit more adjustment, so I'm to tweak it just a little bit more. This is one of the things I really like about this saw is that these things are really adjustable. And I think once you get it, it should stay pretty uh, accurate most of the time. I might want to check this once in a while though. That seems really good there. Seems really good here. I'm gonna call this a win. Now I wanna check the gauge here to see if it's gonna cut accurately. This is also one I decided to just arbitrarily move in one direction and then you know try to see if I can get it back to where it needed to be. I'm just gonna cut this at 17 inches according to the gauge. Now I'm gonna take a measurement. I can see it cut it long by about an eighth of an inch. So I go back to my gauge. I had it right on 17, so I should be able to change it by one eighth of an inch. And if I go the wrong way, it's gonna make it a quarter of an inch off, so let's go the right way. Just move it by an eighth of an inch and set it back to 17. And we should be able to recut that and measure it and see what we end up with. Looks like it's right on the line. I think I'm pretty happy with that. And it seems to be square, so that's also good. Next, I'm gonna adjust the level of the fence so that when you're running a board down the fence that you, you know, it is straight up and down. If you know you're ripping something that way, I guess. So I have a little bit of rocking on my square here. So it seems like this side over here needs to go up just a little bit to get that to stop rocking. Guys, make sure you unlock the fence, make your adjustment, relock the fence, and then take a you know, quick uh, look at your work. Just keep doing this until you get it right. You may have to do both sides depending on how much room you got. So we're gonna raise the blade and check to see if the table surface is square with the blade at zero degrees and that it's at 45 degrees when it's at 45 degrees. So we'll ch first check to make sure we have a level table set to zero, make sure it's on zero. And we'll just move that up to the blade and that should read 90. If not, we'll just adjust the uh, handle till we hit right on the money here just like that boom done then we'll set our gauge down here to zero because that would be the normal place for that to be I get as close on that line as I can this thing's a little bit flimsy I'm not really complaining about it just you know just be aware that these things are not really to be trusted. Should use a digital gauge like I'm using here. Uh, but this is just nice to have a, you know, a, a quick way to do it. And that's 45.1, it looked pretty good. And I'll go back to zero. I got a little past zero, I'm gonna come back to it. I think there is a little bit of backlash in the screw there so that it doesn't, you always kind of want to go past and then come back to it, I think. Here's some things that I've made with a saw. 
uh, built this router table uh, and all the little uh, uh, wooden pieces that go to it uh, using this table saw and those little wire holders. Built this uh, rack for holding screws and things and a thing for the French cleat wall to hold routers. Got some uh, other holders for glues and clamps. Basically built all this on that table saw. Uh, also built some accessories for the table saw. So built a tapering jig uh, that could be used as a joiner uh, in a pinch. Um, yeah, this thing works really, really good. Uh, it also runs along that dado that is dead parallel to that fence, so I know I'm good there. Also a, another piece to maybe do some uh, uh, joinery, uh, half laps or something on the ends of boards. Also dust collection doesn't seem to uh, be too bad on this saw. Uh, it's uh, first of all not perfect, but it's uh, also not terrible. So actually very happy with this saw. So I'm Dave. Um, I bought this saw, I'm gonna say two months ago, two or three months ago, don't know, anyway. Um, I've used it for all the things that you saw in the video. So there's this thing in the back and all the cleat wall and all that stuff. I've done a lot of work with it and uh, people have been asking for an honest review of it. And uh, honestly, I will say, I actually love the saw. Um, I would buy another one if I uh, didn't have this one. Um, yeah, it's a great saw. Some of the things I was pointing out in, the, in this particular video are the uh, major adjustments for uh, making it cut accurately. Um, now, I don't use the book. I, I, I've been doing this for 35 years. Um, you know, messing with stuff, tinkering with things. I've been in heavy maintenance for my whole life. Um, I don't tend to use the book unless I get into trouble. So, um, I think that's pretty typical of most of us, uh, dudes out there. Um, just making stuff and doing things and, and, you know, cowboy up, baby. Um, yeah, good saw. Um, honestly. I'd buy another one. Um, if you like this, like it. If you want to subscribe to it, subscribe to it. Or to the channel. Whatever that is. Um, anyway, pass the word on if you're getting anything good out of this video. Um, I just, I appreciate any, any feedback. I try to respond to every comment. Um, I listen. Uh, I just, I just want to be able to create good content and uh, have people enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, I certainly enjoy what I'm doing, so I want other people to do too. Too, 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 too. Anyway, hee <laughs> hee.